factor, that means the number of the shows, the scale of the shows, or the length of the engagements, eliminating or radically reducing employee benefits, hiking your ticket prices, and at last resort, fire sales. All of this just to keep the door open, especially on the verge of what we call the new normal, a time of reduced resources without discernible growth in sight. But as much as we focus on the, on the financial as we do in these contexts, the real issues we have to be thoughtful about, frankly, are not financial. You know, to explain, in 2006, and, and I should say this as a, a preface, at the Doris Duke Charitable Foundation where I worked, uh, and again, Doris, whom I never met, but who we often spend a lot of time going, what would Doris do? <laughs> That's our sort of mantra. Uh, Doris loved New Jersey so much that of the 11 properties that she had at her death, she mandated that of the three properties we have to keep in perpetuity, one of them is the farm in New Jersey, which I hope you all go to visit. It's near Princeton or Somerville and is an extraordinary place. Moreover, she mandated that the foundation must have an artistic purpose and charged us with caring for artists who work in contemporary dance, jazz, and theater, and the organizations who nurture, present, and produce those artists. As a preface to a new art strategy in 2006, we convened 700 artist managers and administrators in 22 